Chanel Kular, an actor best known for his role in F***'s Education, has joined the cast of Silver, a fantastical film based on the novels of Kirsten Gear. What did the actor have to say about his new project? What potential storylines could his character have in F***'s Education? Stay tuned to find out all the important unanswered questions we need answered. First up, what did the actor have to say about his new project? Last month, the actor exclusively interviewed Digital Spy. I love F***'s Education. It's a cracking show. It's a really excellent piece of work, in my opinion. I'd be there right away if they wanted me back. One of the things that creator Lori Nunn does among lots of brilliant things that she does is the way she deals with characters who seem to be incredibly odious in one way or difficult. Remy, he's such a d in so many ways, and yet he kind of pulls it back at the end of his current story. You really get a sense of how lonely and miserable that man is underneath all the bravado. Kular will soon be back on our Netflix screens as Mordell Secondary School pupil Anwar Bakshi in S*** Education Season 4. Dan Levy and Thaddea Graham will also be present along with the main players, but there is still uncertainty surrounding James Purefoy's Remy Milburn. Next up, what is the plot and the cast of Silver? Amazon and German production and distribution force Constantine Film are teaming up on YA fantasy feature Silver, working title, based on the popular novel series of the same name by Kirsten Gear. The 17-year-old Liv's journey to London with her mother, Anne, and younger sister Mia will be portrayed in Silver. Everything changes when Liv meets the mysterious Henry. He is a member of an elite group known as the Lucid Dreamers. They are unaware, though, that realizing their dream will cost them dearly. The cast, largely made up of emerging and breakout actors and actresses, includes Jana McKinnon as Liv, Riva Kremlowski as Mia, Reese Mania as Henry, Chanel Cooler as Arthur, Efiosa Afalabi as Jasper, Theo Aguirre as Grayson, Josephine Blazer as Annabelle, Samira Brewer as Persephone, and Nicolette Kravitz in the role of Liv's mother Anne. The director is Helena Huffnagel, Lena Showman is the producer, Sina Flamong and Christian Ditter collaborated on the screenplay. German and English versions of the film will soon be shot in London and Dublin. The launch of Prime Video is anticipated for 2023. We Children from Banoff Zoo, a drama series starring Austrian-Australian actress McKinnon, was produced by Amazon and Constantine last year. When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit, a 2019 box office success, marked Krimalowski's breakthrough. While 2022 South by Southwest drama, It Is in All of Us, marked Reese Mannion's feature film debut. Next off, how did Chanel Coulard start his early career? Chanel Coulard, a British actor and model, was born in the UK. Chanel Coulard was born in England on August 20th, 1999. Education, Black Narcissus, and Informer are three of his best-known roles from the year 2019 as an actor. Chanel Coulard is a well-known actor who has appeared in numerous movies and on television. Coulard played Tariq Amiri in the 2018 Doctors television season, marking his acting debut. His exceptional acting skills caught the attention of numerous reviewers and directors. The same year, he made a brief appearance in Informer. To play Anwar in S*** Education in 2019, Chanel underwent the audition process. All these are considered as best performances. Fortunately, he was given the role, which allowed him to make a name for himself in the industry. He has so far been seen in 17 different episodes of the program. Recently, the producers released the third season. In the 2020 drama and television miniseries Black Narcissus, he played Dilip Rai. Kular had just started performing on stage. He was also highly successful in getting a great role under his name. He has only so far appeared in a few acting roles, but he definitely has the ability to become an excellent actor. Next off, is Patricia Allison leaving S*** Education. Patricia Allison, who started in the hit television show S*** Education has announced that she won't be returning for season four. The well-liked teen dramedy has garnered praise from critics over the course of its three seasons for its LGBTQ plus characters and novel s and interesting relationship plot lines. Additionally, the show has been nominated for numerous BAFTA TV awards, including Best Female Comedy Performance for Amy Lou Wood and Best Male Comedy Performance for Nkuti Gatwa. The streamer revealed that the Mordell students would be back for another season back in September. Not every character from the beloved series is expected to return though. Allison, who played Ola Nyman, recently had revealed that her work on the program has come to an end in an interview with Capital Extra. I have loved every minute of playing Ola on S*** Education. She gushed. However, I'm sorry to say that I won't be joining the team for season four. I'm so sorry to break the news to you guys, but I'm just going to be doing a few other little things because some other opportunities have come up. I've been doing it for three years and I've really loved it, the speaker said in her interview. The 27-year-old told the news source that although making the decision to leave was difficult, she was enthusiastic about the future. I adore the program, but occasionally you must say goodbye, which is somewhat upsetting, but more will happen, she continued. Next off, will Rocky Thakar be returning to s*** education? 
its education on Netflix is going through some changes for the upcoming season, mostly in the cast department. Before season four, Rocky Thakar has joined the list of recent cast members to leave the program, along with Simone Ashley and Tanya Reynolds, who played Lily, Ola, and Patricia Allison, respectively. Thakar leaves the show due to commitments to Bridgerton. Thakar portrayed Emily Sands, an English teacher at Moordale Secondary School in the television series. Maeve, played by Emma Mackey, was first encountered to embrace her strengths by a recurring character named Mish Sands, who also encouraged her to pursue new academic interests that would benefit her in the future. As the show went on, Miss Sands also started pressuring Adam, played by Connor Swindles, a low-achieving student, to put more effort into his studies in order to raise his grades. Miss Sands was romantically involved with Colin Hendricks, a fellow Mordell teacher, largely without anyone's knowledge. Miss Sands was a teacher who was generally considerate during her time on the show. She clearly cared about her students and her job, even though Maeve and Adam provided the majority of the illustrations. Next up is Chanel Coulard, also the home invasion thriller Accused. Chanel Coulard, who starred in Sex Education, will head up the cast of the upcoming home invasion thriller Accused, according to XYZ Films. In the movie, Harry Buff Shar, Chanel Coulard, must defend himself after he's falsely accused of being a wanted terrorist by a group of internet sleuths. When death threats and abuse quickly turn into a fight for survival against a deadly home invasion, later this month, in the UK, production is expected to get underway under the direction of Boiling Point's Philip Barantini. Along with her, Lauren Ajufo, Boiling Point stars. XYZ Films will both finance and executive produce Accused. Next, what potential storylines could his character have in S Education? Fans hardly know anything about Anwar, despite the fact that he has appeared frequently throughout all three seasons. Some fans think Anwar is a stereotypical mean teen who lets his fame get to him, despite having a relatively healthy and endearing relationship with his boyfriend Nick, played by Tom Atkinson. The writers could really develop his character and give him closure if they gave him some redemption storylines in season four. A potential storyline could explore Anwar's relationship with Nick. Nick and Anwar, who are regarded as one of S*** Education's best couples, frequently discuss their anxieties and insecurities with their audience. Anwar appears to viewers to soften and become more open when he is around Nick, despite the fact that he is generally rude to the majority of the Mordale Six formers. The ability to see that his mean and sarcastic side may all be a facade has been something that fans have particularly enjoyed seeing. Nick appearing in a few more episodes might be advantageous if the writers want to explore Anwar's vulnerability. Another storyline could explore Anwar's friendship with Ruby and Olivia. Many viewers wanted to learn more about the friendship between the untouchables after Ruby Matthews, played by Mimi King, made a significant improvement by confessing her feelings for Otis and finally inviting Anwar over to her house. In addition to showing how much they care for one another, season three also gives viewers a glimpse into how close and guarded they were. Chanel Coulard is a multi-talented actor that has now started to gain the attention of film directors that are eager to cast him in their series. Fans are already in anticipation of his upcoming series. Who is your favorite character in education. Which Chanel Coulard series is your favorite? Make sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.